Hello, Gamer Nobs back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the new Sound Fruit Become Pro. But before starting, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Hey guys, so finally, update 20. And before we start, this noob to pro video combat was reworked and it looks really better. But again, guys, just telling you part of the update. So now we're gonna start with the sound fruit. Don't worry, I'm still making the mammoth fruit. But we need to get our fruit back first. Anyway, first skill is the Rhapsody. You need at least 250 masters in order to unlock all the skills. There you go. Okay, so let's start grinding this one. Okay, so starting with the bandits. By the way, that's the quick tackle. And for our first skill, the Rhapsody notes. There you go. Also notice that there's a tempo meter. So guys, once it's full, you will have increased speed also your your allies will also increase their speed and i'm not sure of the other buffs but for the first skill wraps the notes this one's really good because there is little to no knockbacks okay so we've leveled up to level five right i'm gonna show you our stats we're gonna put some stats on the melee and block fruit we're gonna focus on that why because again my favorite strat we're gonna head to the fountain city and start defeating this mob there you go the Gali Pirate, so left clicks. Good thing again, there's no knockback, which means this mob won't use his long range attack. Make sure to last hit using your Z skill to get lots of masteries from it. There you go, guys. See that? Just one kill. And we have lots of masteries. Okay, so continue doing it. Anyways, for the stats again, just for the guy, there you go. 10 melee. Actually, we're gonna put 15 melee here. And most of the stats, actually, all of the stats in the block screen. There you go for higher damages. Okay, guys, so keep on killing him. Guys, if you really love the jungle and the pirate village, guys, if this is strat, will skip those islands. And I assure you, I think this one's faster. Okay, guys, so at level 39, we're gonna unlock the skill Fortissimo. Guys, this one's not good. See that, guys? Knockback, which means, see that? He's gonna use his long range attacks. Maybe you can use it to last hit him. Okay, the Gally Pirate, but I don't suggest it when still damaging the enemy or if you can dodge his skill then go for it i decided to stay here until level 60 so that we will be skipping the next island the desert anyways here are the stats again i will be updating you on every stat change that i'll make go next up guys the desert so here level 60 we're gonna start with the desert officers so guys we're gonna skip the luring part i'm just gonna show you how good the skills of the new sound fruit Again guys, when grinding, take note of the skills that has knockback. For example, Fortissimo. So guys, if you want to grind faster, make sure that there is a building or a net that will catch these mobs. For example, that one guys. See that? No need to lure them again. They're not scattered everywhere. So grinding will be a lot more efficient and easier, right? Okay, I hope that's clear. So guys, we're gonna grind here until level 75. And after that, we are going to move on to the next set of mobs go level 75 so guys at level 75 oh we reach level 76 our target is the desert officers their location is just at the other side of the island here it is anyways again we're gonna skip the luring part there you go guys check this out if you don't use your fortissimo properly see that you need to go near them wait for them to come near you etc so grinding will be a lot slower right so again i told you a while ago always look for a building or, or a structure that will catch them for example this one see that okay a lot easier okay just wait for your skills to cool down or if you want you can use your combat but guys i'm not using combat now because i just want to focus on using this fruit one more thing i decided to use some codes because roblox keeps on shutting down so i want to post this today the day of the update so here you go guys i'm going to show you every code that i'll use so for this one i use sub to digrock Actually, there, there's a list in the internet, so if you want, you can just check it out. I'm just telling you that I'm going to use two times experience code with this video, okay? Okay, so guys, continue grinding. Also, you can use this strategy. Just jump on a high ground and that's it, okay? There you go, easy. This mob has no long-range attacks, which makes everything a lot easier. So again, our goal here is to reach level 90. Oh, we reached 92 here. And for the stats, there you go. Melee 20, Defense 25, and Blast Fruits 231. Next island is the Frozen Village. 
But before grinding, uh, there is a cave here where you, and you can buy lots of good stuff here at the ability feature. So there's the air jump that's useful. There's the aura, Buso Haki, right? And the flash step. But so far, we don't have money to buy the flash step. It costs 100,000 bellies. So we're gonna buy that later. So now let's start with the snow bandits. So guys, again, same strategy. There you go. <laughs> For those asking, guys, every time you use Fortissimo, make sure there you go to face the wall every time you use it so that they will be knocked back on the wall behind them. Again, we want to avoid luring the enemies again to make things a lot faster. Okay, so guys, that's it. Continue grinding here until level 105. Yes, 105. We're gonna skip the snowman here because they're so far apart. Okay, next stop at 105, we got the Yeti. So guys, the Yeti, hmm. My technique is uh, just look for a high ground. There you go. This bosses don't jump. There you go. So guys, they cannot do anything with you here. So just keep on using your skills. And that's it. Okay. So I hope that's clear. Guys, you can do server hop here with uh, Yeti. But I'm afraid to like uh, go th through servers right now. Because it's hard to join the game. But anyways, grind here until level 130. And after that, we're going to buy the flash step now. For 100,000 bellies. By the way, here are the stats. 30 melee, defense 35, and everything on the blocks fruit. There you go, flash step finally. Okay, so next island is the marine fortress. So guys, here I bought the black cape or the dark cape. Located on the right side, uh, what do you call this? Pillar. Okay, so here is the boss here, Vice Admiral. Notice that we skipped the chief petty officers. Actually, you can grind there, but I prefer the Yeti because it's only single target. So guys, as you can see, he's easy to defeat. Just use your skills and make sure to keep on moving because he will hit you with his long range attack. Okay, so just dash to the side. That's why I uh, added lots of uh, regardless of strength to increase our stamina. Okay, so dash to the side, use your skills, dash to the side, use your skills. Also, we're gonna skip the whole Sky Island because the quest giver is so far away. Yeah, it will take us lots of time just to grind there. Also, guys, check this out. We've unlocked our C skill, the Symphonic Regions. There you go, guys. This one's really good. Looks like you're uh, in a disco bar. <laughs> also, this skill is really powerful. It's, uh, it's AOE, which means we can start grinding other mobs now, but I still prefer 1v1 because you can like server hop with bosses here. There you go. See that guys, damage is really good. The only bad thing about this is the knockback every after C skill. Yes, I don't like that guys. Because sometimes you will need to lure them again. There you go. Anyways, we're gonna grind here until level 220. Okay, we're almost done. Boom. Okay. So let's check the stats before we leave this area. 100 melee, 100 defense, blocks fruits, 463. Okay, next area is the prison. So guys, I suggest if you want to just grind mobs, grind the prisoners here. But for us, we're gonna grind all the bosses. We have three bosses here. Guys, check this out at level 220. You can already defeat all of them. See that? I've gathered all of the bosses. Swan, Chief, Warden, and Warden. I'm just gonna show you that at this level, you can easily defeat them by using wall strat. Okay? So guys, again, if you want to grind yen or money too, you can grind these bosses. You can do server hop. If there are other players, that's kind of unlucky, but just keep on searching for other uh, free servers, okay? So as you can see guys, I'm defeating them. There's just minor damage because of this one. He's using string fruit, so it has long range attack, but you can tank the damage with just 100 defense, okay? There you go, that's the Chief Warden, and this is the Swan. Again, at level 220, we got the pink coat. Anyways, you won't be getting experience, I'm just showing you that to make things faster. And again, we're gonna grind here until level 350. Again, it's your choice if you wanna do server up or defeat mobs. Okay, guys, so stat check before we leave this area 125 mil defense, blocks fruits 806. And again, guys, we've unlocked a new skill, the Tempo Prestissimo. Guys, check this out. This one's really good. Again, if you hold this one, you will charge your tempo meter, right? And with this tempo meter, you will fly faster. Also, the design will change. There you go, golden. Okay. So for our next island, we got the volcano. 
So guys, in this, oh sorry, it's Magma Village. Volcano is called vo Volcano when using Portal Fruit. Anyway, this fight is uh, actually this one's easier compared to Swan. But just uh, make sure to use your F skill to fly around every time you're waiting for your skills to cool down. Avoid getting hit because his damage is really high. So how do you avoid him? Just there you go. Dash to the side every time you use your skills. Okay, don't stay in one area. Actually, that's the same with all bosses. There you go. Gamer Nom, are you going to defeat the mobs here? Hmm. Again, I don't suggest beating the mobs in this area because again you need to like dash a lot and get lots of quests not compared to doing server hops with these bosses okay so guys we're gonna grind here until level 425 and after that we are heading towards the whirlpool oh stat check sorry 140 melee defense blocks fruits 1001 anyway we're almost there next stop guys the whirlpool and that is the entrance to the underwater city so our only target here, there you go, is the Fishman Lord. So guys, again, you can do wall strat here. That's still effective. But guys, the problem here is when you use your Fortissimo and your Symphonic Regions, this boss will get knocked back. So you will be waiting for him to go back to you. Like for example, this one. See that? I'm waiting. So guys, uh, for me, if you can't defeat him face to face, then go for it. Okay, don't, don't do this. Like wait for him to go back. I know it's safe because he cannot damage you that much here, but yeah, I suggest defeating him face to face. And again, we're gonna do this. Oh, we got the trident until level 500. Lots of skipping mobs because again, that is the fastest way. Just for me, guys. Okay. So after this, stats, melee defense 165, both block fruits 1173. Next island is the Skylands. Actually, the upper sky, guys. We skip this whole island. Oh, actually, the God's Guards are also good. Also, the Shandas. But, again, we're gonna stick with the Whisper here. And we're gonna skip all other mobs here. Guys, just the Whisper, okay? If you wanna grind mobs, go with the God's Guards and Shandas. But, that's it. Gamer Nom, you skip the God, I uh, Thunder God. Guys, he's so far away. <laughs> and if you're grinding in the public server, there are lots of uh, players grinding that mob, which will make things a lot harder. At least Whisper is near the quest giver and the spawn point which means you will know if he is there or not, okay? As you can see, I'm grinding here in the public server. Also guys, finally, we're gonna unlock our VCL Glorious Harmony. Guys, check it out. It did not disappoint. Boom! There you go guys. It really looks good. Partner it with Symphonic Regions plus Fortissimo plus Rhapsody Notes. And guys, the damage is really good, okay? So there you go guys, 625 is our goal here, but we're 627. We're gonna check the stats, 200 mil defense, all stats will go to Blast Fruits. And there you go guys, final island, the first sea, the fountain city. Our target here, we're only going to defeat two mobs. First is the Galli Pirates, guys just lure four. I'm gonna make this quick for everyone, there you go, it's one, two, three, and four guys, you need to defeat eight, right? Okay. So guys here, you need to like, I think you just need to use the skills simultaneously V and X to burst them. I almost died here so yeah, you can unlock your observation hockey before going to this area. One more thing before we end our grinding here in the first sea guys, it's your choice if you want to defeat Cyborg or just stay here with the Galley Pirates. I skipped the Galley Captains because they're so far away and uh, instead of uh, finishing one quest with that i have already finished two quests with the galley pirates okay so again skip galley captains cyborg it will take you time to defeat him so again i stayed here with the galley pirates okay so that's it guys we've reached level 700 comment it in the comment section what fruit do you want me to grind next or a sword okay so again that's it for this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters update 20 here good luck on grinding see you in my next video Bye bye